Glaive aggressive on the CT side. The pistol round. He's going to spot himself three players. He's committing to one frag. Surely he gets one of the USP, but no, he doesn't. Not this time. The T's going to push towards that location, but they can still get their shots in. It's going to be harder to take them down at these ranges. Device already. Oh, oh, that's a really stunning flick there on the second kill. And he understood as well. It, like, Device is predicting everything really well. I love that, the timing when he jumped onto the train to understand that the smoke will come down and shoot over the smoke. And the rest of his uh, his teammates will clean everything up. Astralis get the good start on the CT side. Because what I've seen of late from their train has been amazing. They're, they've got amazing aggression and positional plays. Nice. Fnatic will be able to barrel down the alley position there. Slave was caught going aggressive. And this is really important for Fnatic. Really nice opening kills, allowing them to create space on the A yard. They can get the split going. I honestly don't know how Astralis will defend from this point forwards, but Device is offering up something. But it's Rose a struggle. Got his teammate to cover him. JW not flashed from the E box position, so that play doesn't work out for Astralis. And I do wonder what Glaive had in mind, really. It looked like he wanted to see a player on Ivy and then throw a HG grenade, but they would have been so close. Maybe that requires review, Dupree. And a one versus three, and his uh, position is not quite tenable. And he will not last long. JW is moving forward. 30 second mark. He's spotted one player on the bomb train. Zipex is blind. Zipex is around the smoke. Zipex is making footsteps. Zipex is dead. And he is just down to device of Kirby, but they really up will be encouraged to try to save at this point. Kirby, unfortunately, sort of in a committed position, but device can try to get out of there with the AWP intact. And he will do so for now. But there's so much time to hunt him down in Fnatic with so much money at the moment are going to absolutely invest a couple players. Nice jump, baits the shot. Oh, fantastic flick comes in though. Still much more to be done and Device can only withstand so much. It will be hard to stop it though again with no utility. The play, Glaive, very nice positioning. Pop flash as well. And he will get out of there. So Fnatic are in an interesting situation now. They've lost their man in the forward position. And now their alley presence is completely gone. What do they do? They've got 45 seconds left. Golden's going to go into Pop Dog. You almost feel like they should have initiated the, tr the, the split sooner. Yeah, they had like their best chance there. JW top. They were waiting for him to get a kill, right? And then didn't, didn't seem to have a fallback plan and yet are still committing at, at uh, their most predictable moment because then they feel very confident taking the peak. That's hilarious. That's really hilarious. That is next level. That, is, like a, that, that. is a common one. I get that in some, some pugs one HP and you do like 21 and they're still alive. Four on four as Fnatic rage war on the A bot side. The device taken down. Play fighting back and forth on the floor. We'll rain some bullets in in this smoke. JW is in an awkward position though, especially as Glaive bounces off the ladder. Great play from him, not realizing the situation, but it will work out anyway. Looks like he might assume that they have gone in there. Oh no, he's going to make noise though. Lecro's 15 HP however, but his angle is weird enough. JW has heard. Ooh. JW has executed, just about. Yeah. And he looks to harass more, the only person in the A site Hiding in plain sight is JW, and they are unable to respond. He may win the round on his own. Well, maybe his job has been done. There's a rotation in towards the B bomb site, but the headshots just keep coming from the T side. Three versus two, though. There's still a fighting chance here for Astralis. Astralis not liking the look of this. They can't find an easy fast frag, so they're going to opt for a save. Oh, hello. <laughs> All right, then. Hello, debrief. Hello there. Oh my god. <laughs> Get fish out of water. <laughs> Buff flushes like shena shena. That looks weird. But there we go. Uh, uh, maybe not. Oh no! <laughs> oh, you are surrounded. Oh, okay. This is fun, isn't it? Swapping up for the Mag 7, and it will be a uh, device who is launched. This is. Quite the wild match. So pick st pick stickers are flying in the air as well. One versus two. They know where he was, where he could be. 
But he may just find himself an angle. Grims, can he cover his teammate? Going for the re-peak, and they're going to put it down to the one versus one, but Lecro will be able to deliver a 12th round for Fnatic. Great smoke, actually, from Weiss. And the entry made by Kirby, successful. Jumping through the smoke on either direction. The bomb is lost for the T side, and JW continues his carnage. Gotta be patient with the last few bullets. Still alive somehow, just running around, and not much is going the way of uh, Stralis in this half. Yeah, they just got called out. Like, Fnatic are on both sides of the, ra of the Ivy smoke waiting for them to jump through. Yeah, I don't remember Electro flick. Okay, that's that's okay. That's not even like a kill. There you go. <laughs> that's an assist. So, I don't know. Anyway, it's a fast round from Astralis looking to bust the A train yard, but it's going to be difficult here. Lecro is on the train. It's a one-man advantage though for the terrorist side of Astralis, and Zipex will creep up behind him. That gun barrel oh showing, <laughs> and finally finds him. Surely that's the round here for Astralis. What has happened in this round? This is unlikely. And they've always kept Astralis down on those fires on the CT side. This time is a bit of a different story here. Astralis with a good buy. Looking to just hammer into this B bomb site in a very fast timing. No default from them. Straight into B. And Flush has done a good job here. He's fallen back, but he can't get the frag to hold off Astralis long enough. Lecro has got to stand his ground. Kyabi exposed on the high ground before Lecro will fall to the flames. Three oh. on two. That's a lovely shot from Golden, but JW's only got a mag seven. He's nowhere near the site just yet, though. I'm not sure if there's a flank. He's got to be quiet, and that's wasting a lot of time for this retake on a CT side. And so he's maybe expecting these players to be closer, but only now is he making his way. Does he go high? Does he go low? There is a player on the low ground, so at least he'll get some more, more mileage out of this, but there goes his uh, teammate who could have taken the high ground for him. They'll make it expensive for Astralis, but Device will get the final kill. That was cool how Zipix went top train right away after they got the first kill, realizing he's got at least a second to look for Flesh. Oh my gosh. Hello. Hello. Three players, though, for Astralis towards the IV position, but now there's one after Glaive is the second man to drop to the Seagull. Golden trying to do as much as he can. Oh, and now they've got the bomb. They've taken out three players towards the IV area. Golden won't get many points for that dive. Two on two. Alecro, we said we didn't see much from him yet. He's got one Deagle frag in the round already. That's a great smoke here to help him have a 1v1 against Kirby as he makes his way forwards. But Kirby will be turning away to look at Flusher. And there's the spot. That is so important. Device doesn't realize Lecro is also in this position. Great, but JW is in the forward position with this orb. Surely he catches someone. Gets a spot there, they jump across for information. Now they know JW's pretty close. Will they try to pursue? Doesn't matter, Dupree goes down. The flames are there for JW, but he goes up to the train. Device is looking for it. So much spam around main. It'll be good for man down on both sides. Device though, may have a superior angle, but he's gotta be careful to his right hand side. Golden goes to the peak, but he'll be punished for it. Glaive taken down in the meantime, but they have to have the communication that device is lurking. Starting to flank now device, and there's Crib taken out, and Lecro is soon to follow, leaving Flusher alone. Oh my god, he's made it a one versus one, but where is the last play? He's got no idea. Kiabi coming in from the IV position. 45 seconds on the clock, and Flusher has the right angle. Oh, the timing is unreal. On the ladder, off the ladder. And Kiabi will keep Astralis in the game. That said, their grenade stock is not healthy, uh, Astralis. Did they? They went for the double AWP, right? And Dupree with one of them dies towards Team Main. And this presence is very, very close here towards Popdog from Fnatic. Astralis are making a good timing with this play. But Fnatic are very scary in this position. Oh, another frag from Flusher. Bosh. Oh my god. It's happening, but will it? The bomb is not in the most ideal situation. On the high ground as well. And one of these two players may have to retrieve it, but they have some time to try and pick off a player. But look where they're everywhere. They are everywhere. Like the Rat Temple in India. Completely covered in feet. A record in the league at the moment. And Astralis are on 4 0, but they could be on 4 1 after this. If this continues. Looks like it, sh it will. 
bomb at the feet of Crims. Surely he saw someone towards me. Earlier on, Cree making a desperate attempt. Combined 37 HP? Or is it? No, it's just a one now. Oh, Crims, he's swatting. Does he dare go up the ladder? No, it's going to happen. The reload is there for Zipex, but Lecro doesn't have the opportunity. He could throw a flashbang up there and kill Zipex at this point. Oh, the Ruders. Oh, no, that's... Well, <laughs> well, well. Nicely what done. What does it matter anyway? 16-8, Fnatic finished with double the score of Astralis.